Assalamu alaikum, Ramadan Mubarak, and welcome to Iftar Insights 2021. Assalamualaikum and Ramadan Mubarak to you, your family and Jamaat, as well as a wider global Muslim community who follow each year this digital Ramadan presentation known as Iftar Insights, produced by Edutainment Company, Fuzz Events and Entertainment Limited in partnership with Impressions Studio TT. This series aims to highlight Ramadan observations at the many masjids and musallas across Trinidad and Tobago. It was initiated in 2019, but when the pandemic forced global lockdowns during Ramadan last year, we instead used the opportunity to showcase family customs from countries around the world surrounding the breaking of the fast and other Ramadan traditions. However, we are extremely grateful, alhamdulillah, for the opportunity to once again return to the masjids, although this is being done in the strictest of adherence to public health recommendations and guidelines, with utmost regard for our team, the Jamaats being visited, and the wider public health. Some of these adaptations will be visible to you during, this, during the series as it has directly led to the new format of this year's series. My name is Asma Mohammed, and I am your in-studio host of the 2021 edition of Iftar Insights. We welcome you now to our first episode with support from our friends at Muslim Funeral Services, who have graciously sponsored today's venture to and highlight of the Guarakara Astra Mosque, Fanum Village, that's in South Trinidad. Muslim Funeral Services provides complete Muslim burial services across Trinidad and Tobago, according to Sharia law. They are easily reached on 1868 293 4092, and the links to their social media pages will be posted below. Before we take you to Guarakara Masjid, however, our little sister Mariam has a question she wants to ask. If you have got me, you have got power. But the devil will try to increase the pride within you using me every second, minute, hour. I will take you to heaven if you act upon me well. But if you misuse me, I'm also dangerous enough to take you to hell. What am I? Assalamu alaikum. I dare you to give me the answer in the comments below. Iftar Insights 2021 and Muslim Funeral Services welcome you now to the Guarakara Astro Masjid. <laughs> sincere hope that your first day of fast was a successful and rewarding one. Remember, Allah says in Surah Al-Anfal, Ayah 70, He will give you something better than He has taken from you. 
Inshallah, your sacrifices, once done with pure intention, will not go without its due reward, as Allah is the keeper of promises, the trustworthy. Now that the fast has been broken and the mother of Salah has been offered, let us use this opportunity provided by Muslim funeral services, one creator, one way, to learn more about the history of Kwarakara Masjid from new co-host, Brother Tevan Chewit of Freebooks. He will be followed by Fazir, who will chat with Imam Ahmad to find out how things have changed since the pandemic and how the Jamaat has responded. Assalamu alaikum, and I'm here to officially welcome you to the Kwakara Masjid. So I'm here with the Imam and also Brother Taya, right? Hmm? So, Imam, you can tell us a little something about the Masjid in terms of how long it's been here in this community. Yes. Uh, our Masjid uh, was established in 1956. Mm -hmm. our, our Jamaat, uh, the Jamaat was established in 1956. The Masjid uh. itself was built in 1966. 1966. 1966. Right. Between between that, uh, we we had a little uh, hut on the side of the house, a karachid, right. in which we used to use when we didn't have a machine. Yeah. And I, I, I would like to add, you know, that that the machine was open, mm -hmm. uh, officially opened by the Haji Shafiq Rahman. Mm -hmm. Yes, and Molana Ansari, uh, both of them uh, in his first year, Shaf, um, Haji Shafiq Rahman, he, in his first year of office as President General of Asia, he, he was here to open, officially open our masjid in 1966. Mm -hmm. Before the masjid was built, what was, where was the masjid, where, where you all had to go? We had to go to Piparo. Wow. And it was, in those days, cars and transport was a problem. Mm -hmm. So we had to walk through a trace to, and come out on the volcano itself. Oh. In order to reach the Aramos. Right? The, the volcano was not uh, active at that time. Mm -hmm. But, Alhamdulillah, it used to take us at least 40 minutes from here to the Piparo number one masjid before we establish our Jamaat down here. All right. Yeah. And um, in terms of like what activities and stuff you'll have for the kids, you know, because it's been to my understanding is that, you know, it's a family-oriented mosque and we ha you'll have a lot of stuff just for kids. You know? Yes. Well, we have the table tennis board downstairs. We have uh, the pool table mm -hmm. in which they occupy themselves instead of going, you know, outside to the inns and, and bars and so on. Mm -hmm. We have them in, in the masjid. They play their games and when, when it's time for, for Salat, they will come and, and pray their Salat, inshallah. Or the camp, or we have a camp every yeah. Easter Sunday. Sorry, yeah. Yeah. And for the youths, they, they camp out the, that weekend from Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Monday was a rest day. Yeah. Uh, also, we have, you know, excursions. Every, every year, we have an excursion for the Jamaat and the, the, the masjid, um, they would uh, uh, take up the, the, the charges for that. The charges and then, yeah. okay, okay. So it's been to my understanding that you know, the masjid is like a pillar in the community. In the community. Right, yeah. and family oriented. So majority of the yeah. brothers and sisters are all family. Yeah. And we have, we have uh, a few houses outside the locality. Outside the group, yeah. yeah. Like Piparo, we have Lower Piparo. We have Pune, Whiteland, Guarakara, Tabakit. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So we have quite a lot, uh, about 160 uh, members we have in the machine. Yeah. Coming to you officially from the Guarakara, also known as the Waraha Masjid. Mm -hmm. right. Assalamu alaikum, rahmatullah wa barakatuh. Wa alaikum salam, Assalamu alaikum. Okay. Okay. 
My memories of this masjid revolve around a beehive of activity over two decades ago when my Jamaat from Gasparillo and this Jamaat at the Waraka Masjid would have spent many years, many nights together playing table tennis and doing cross Jamaat or inter Jamaat interactions and activities. And yet here we stand in 2021, or rather here we sit in 2021, in an otherwise empty hall. A hall that would have been a bustle of activity, full to capacity yes. for the iftar and the dinner on any other year pre-COVID. But this is the post or present and COVID world that we now live in, unfortunately. But fortunately enough, inshallah and alhamdulillah, we are able to return to the masjids this year and for this we give great thanks imam mm. uncle wahid assalamu alaikum once again oh, as okay. how has covid changed the happenings at this masjid well hardly anybody comes to the masjid now because of the the restrictions and we have our social distancing you know a lot of people they are so um, frightened they are so frightened to, to turn up, especially the, the sisters. The sisters hardly come out, uh, you know, to the masjid. They are in in connection with, with, with me on, on the Facebook chat and so on. Right. And Alhamdulillah, this is this is where we reach uh, due to this COVID-19. Yeah. But you know, Imam, I, I said Alhamdulillah shortly because of the fact that I can't help but be grateful and, and filled and overwhelmed with joy still mm -hmm. at the fact that I am able to come and offer the Salah in the Masjid and spend another yes. Ramadan yes. in the Masjid. Oh, because yeah, last year, yeah. this was a totally different case, Imam. Last year, yeah. I remember people cried, yes. people shed tears, there was anxiety, there was much trepidation, yeah. there were hearts overflowing with sorrow at the fact that Masjids were closed. And for the first time yeah. in decades in, 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 in history, as far as we could remember, yeah. people were not able to go to the Masjid for yeah. Ramadan. And we yeah. have that opportunity again today. And I feel like yeah. it is very important to drive that point home, to let yeah. everyone know that despite how bad it may seem and despite the fact that we're still not back to normal, yeah. we have to be thankful for the fact yes, that we're able course. to return to the masjids. Yes, and we thank the, the Ministry of Health and the Prime Minister of the country that, you know, at least religious institutions still have a 50% attendance. Yes. Okay, they have allowed us 50% inshallah so we would try to obey that law you know we, we we have our islamic laws but we have to obey the laws of the country also yes okay so this is what you know we we are in tandem with with the ministry and and the prime minister inshallah yeah. and i would like to beg and implore every other muslim in trinidad and mm -hmm. tobago looking on at this episode to please be mindful of the fact that all it would mm -hmm. take possibly is one person falling ill, yeah. one Jamaat being affected by COVID-19 that could lead to all masjids, God forbid, being closed for the rest yeah. of the month of Ramadan. Yeah. We have much to be grateful for, but we also have a huge responsibility. And although in our first episode of a series such as this, the focus would tend to be on a message of Ramadan, we felt it very prudent as today is in fact the day that yeah. Trinidad and Tobago has entered into yet another phase of lockdown. Yes. Beaches on lockdown again, religious institutions at 50% mm -hmm. capacity. Yeah. And there is so much that we have to be grateful for, Imam, but there is still so much that we have to do. So please, as the Imam yes. said, wear your masks, ensure that you social distance, and ensure that you practice all of the other COVID protocols. Imam, I see you yes. had some other systems in place at the masjid to help fight the pandemic. What are some of the other things that you're doing at the masjid well, to stay safe and protect your membership? Yeah, some of the other things that we are doing is that um, we have, uh, you know, like persons who may come to the masjid for salah and they do not have their mats. We have provided um, vinyl and they can pray on the vinyl, mm -hmm. right? But they must have their, their mask on. And you yeah. also have provided, there are hand washing stations, we but you also the, have sanitizers, sanitizers as well. Yeah, sanitizers in, is in place. We have a, 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 the temperature yeah. gun, yeah. and we use it especially on a Friday, okay. when we have strangers 
come into the masjid, we use it on a Friday, inshallah. And it is important, that is another important point that I just wanted to highlight because uh, in the history of the masjid presented earlier, you would have gotten wind of the fact that this is a very family oriented masjid. And what they mean by that is that this masjid, all of the houses that surround the masjid, they're all family as in blood family relatives. And so they're usually the ones who frequent this masjid. And as such, that's why they still have a level of comfort amongst themselves here. But once there are persons outside of that bubble of sorts, then mm -hmm. all extra protocols are in place. In place yes. um, other than that though, this, this paints a very different picture. It paints a sad picture, but one that is, I should say, really bittersweet because it's bitter in that we can't go back to what used to be normal, mm -hmm. but it's still sweet in the fact that we're still able to come to the masjids. There is no yeah. iftar at this masjid, although the Imam is saying that there is a system in place where, like you would have seen for the breaking of the fast, uh, the masjid is providing dates and a drink bottled water for the breaking of the fast. If anyone is interested in supplying or sponsoring the iftar, yeah. that is still possible, but there will be no in-house um, dining. dining. Yeah. What is the system, Imam, inshallah? Uh, the food, the iftari, will be in boxes. Right. It will be in front also. And after the breaking of fast and the, pre the Maghrib Salat, right. then they can take their box. Either they want to eat right here or they want to go home with it. Okay. Yeah, so that, that is the system we have right now. So yeah. every masjid, as you will see, I'm sure, yeah. in the days ahead in this series, will have a different system in place, as we have noted even in 2019. A system that is specific for the needs of that jamaat, of that community. We thank you for viewing, Imam. Thank you for allowing yeah, us to you. share this evening with you and to share in the breaking of the fast, even yeah, though we didn't share that physical space to do it. Thank yeah. you again, Brother Wahid. And thank you for watching Iftar Insights, inshallah. Assalamu alaikum. Welcome, assalamu Speaking of COVID-19, it is important for us to point out that Muslim funeral services have been trained and certified in conducting COVID mired burials, which means that they really can provide all the comforts and relevant services whenever our lips shall have to utter, inna ilahi wa inna ilahi roji'un, after the passing of our loved ones or ourselves. Add their number to your contacts now, 293-4092. Find and follow them on Facebook and Instagram or email your inquiries to them via muslimfuneralservices at gmail.com. By the way, have you gotten a chance to think about Mariam's question? I hope you've left your answers in the comments below because here comes the answer. Did you leave your answer in the comments below? Well, let me remind you of the question again. If you have got me, you have got power. But the devil will try to increase the pride with me using within you using me every second, minute, hour. I will take you to heaven if you act upon me well. But if you misuse me, I'm also dangerous enough to take you to hell. What am I? The answer to this question is knowledge. If you got the answer correct, congratulations. If you didn't, well, better luck next time. Assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum assalam, Mariam. We look forward to these Islamic trivia from you throughout the months ahead, inshallah. This, however, has brought us to the end of the first episode in the Iftar Insights 2021 series. We wish to sincerely thank you for viewing and we would also like to please ask that you like, share, comment, subscribe and follow for continued Iftar Insights. Tomorrow, inshallah, we head to San Juan for episode 2 and for now, I would just like to say thanks again and special thanks to Muslim Funeral Services of Felicity for making today's presentation possible. Jazakallah khair and assalamu alaikum.